yeah, Dalton, uh, just what's what's spring been like? I guess this is the fourth day for you guys. What what's your spring been like? And what what's I guess kind of take me inside the competition uh, between the O line and D lines. I, I saw some some guys really getting after it today. Yeah, absolutely. It's been uh, I mean, it's been a battle ever since day one, even in no pads and just helmets. I mean, we've been going after it and shoulder pads pretty much just added protection for us. That's kind of the speed we've been taking it up front, especially linebackers too. those guys are flying downhill. Um, it's been it's been a heck of a competition so far. I mean, we're only four days in right now. And I mean, you'd like to think that if you looked at our team, that we're probably we've been practicing for maybe 100 days, like the speed of the game, especially when you look at Saturday's practice, the speed of that practice. The way guys were flying around was absolutely incredible. It was like you were out there playing a game against Alabama or LSU or someone. Like it was the way that we practiced was absolutely incredible. And to be able to continue that now, coming up on the fourth practice, which is today, the speed was still flying around. We just got to link these days all the way up to the spring game. But I mean, the competition level's been through the roof. Coach Pittman's really been emphasizing physicality and strain. And I mean, guys are taking that to heart. Dudley? What do you think there are the biggest improvements that the, the offensive line has the opportunity to make this year? And what do y'all feel good about coming back into the season? Uh, overall improvements, the biggest ones we can probably make is just overall unit cohesion, uh, pass protection in our run game. I mean, Coach Coach Davis has been harping it, absolutely harping it about our physicality and making sure that we are the baddest offensive line in the SEC. That's his goal. And that's what we need to practice like. And that's what we've been practicing like. He's He pushes us to our absolute limit every day. I'm sure those of you out there heard him yelling, getting after us. Like, it's what we need. We need a guy that's like that to light a fire under us and get us going. And Coach Pittman puts, puts a lot of strain on us to make sure that we really do our job and make sure that's protected quarterbacks. We've been making sure that we've been taking sacks really to heart this spring so far. And the, we're four days in now. and we take it to heart. Coach Davis doesn't tolerate a single one of them, and we make sure we handle it and address it in the room. Trey? Hey, Dalton. Um, I was curious about uh, Marcus, Jalen, Ray, Takiyas, also a new addition. How are those guys coming along? What are the improvements they've made from, from last year to this year? And, of course, Takiyas obviously being new. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> Takiyas, I love that guy, man. He's hilarious. He's a funny dude. He's learning. He's starting to learn the offense. He's physical. That's that's what you can't you can't knock him for. He's physical. He's got it. He keeps coming along in his playbook. He keeps learning everything. But there's one thing you can't teach, and that's size. He's got it. And there's a lot of things he does out there, especially for being 360 pounds. The way he moves is absolutely incredible. It blows my mind how he can do some things. And Marcus too. He's come a long way since the fall. And he's a he's a highly athletic dude. You've seen him. He was at tight end a little bit. Came back to offensive line now. And his his game has been progressing and he needs to keep coming along too. He's been doing a great job with it. And same with Chop and Ray. They just gotta they gotta keep their noses down in the playbook and keep working. But I mean, all those freshmen, they're they're busting their butt. And Tyke's especially, man, Marcus too. Those guys, those are the two standouts right there. Nate. Sam made a big deal about uh, wanting to run the ball on third and three. And uh, just kind of how's the offensive line taking that as a challenge? Personal, very personal. He's he directly called us out. It's what he wants to do. And Coach Davis takes it to heart. We take it to heart. And it's our goal to be a dominant physical run offensive line. We need to make sure that that is our goal and that there's no doubt when we get in situations like that, that we can't convert. That's what we need to do. And then uh, Ricky and Ty, Myron, but we've all really focused on just harping it into our ingraining it, trying to ingrain it into our brains. And it's, it's a direct challenge to us, and we, we won't shy away from it. Is it any different having a, a true running quarterback like like KJ in there for, for the offensive line? KJ's done an incredible job so far this spring. He's been doing a I mean fantastic job. He's reading all this night, all the, all his reads right. He's been calling plays. He's been trying to be a leader out there. He's done a great job with it. He, I mean, he's got some wheels on him too. I like that. He can he can pull it and run it when he can, and he does a great job with it. Thank you. All right, let me know if you've got more questions for Dalton in the chat. Tom. Yeah, Dalton, you 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 took what I was going to talk ask you about, which was Brad Davis. I could hear him out there encouraging, getting on to. It's just something you get used to. I mean, what do you think about all that? Absolutely, it's something it's something you get used to. Uh, there's one thing he said, he's like, it's never personal. It's like, I'm here to push you to be the best you can be. And it, I mean, you're playing college football in the SEC West. Like it's not going to be an easy day. It's never going to be an easy day. And you know, he's at the end of the day, like no matter how frustrated you get with it, no matter how hard it gets and stuff, you know that he's there because he loves you and he's trying to push you to be your best and he loves the staying university.
Yeah, Sam seemed to be very proud in the pre-spring video conference we had with him that every lineman except maybe one had hit 300 pounds. And I, I think he just understands you got to be big, you got to be physical. Is, is that kind of the take you get from him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, you can't you can't go out there and try to push someone around, especially in this league, weighing 270 pounds, 280 pounds. you got to be 300-plus pounds to be able to do anything productive in this league. And Coach Pittman's put a very, very strong emphasis on that. So has Coach Davis of just getting guys big. I remember every <laughs> dang near every time we saw Coach Davis, he's always asking somebody, all right, what's your weight at today? What's your weight at today? Not good enough. Not good enough. Make sure you're eating. Make sure you're eating. Just trying to get guys up. But, I mean, they've, they have O-line, the guys that were under 300 took it to heart, and they've done a great job getting their weight up. Awesome. And my last thing is uh, you've had good competition with Noah for a couple of years, and he's had to step away. Just your thoughts about, you know, losing Noah off that line. Yeah, it sucked. It really sucked. I felt so bad for him. We talked in the locker room, I remember, after it happened. I mean, that's the thing behind the scenes you don't ever see is the relationship him and I had uh, – competing in that battle and even during games and stuff I'd be behind him when he was in starting just trying to give him tips trying to help him out what he can do and when I'd be out there and come sit down on the bench he'd give me tips what I can do like it was a very symbiotic relationship that we had and I'm gonna miss the heck out of him he was a good kid and just had a really bad break for him uh hey awesome thanks Dalton uh appreciate you coming on last one I noticed uh, yeah, Dalton, when Sam was on here the other day, he talked about the backup center spot. He said, you know, he knows Ty Clary can do it, but he'd prefer someone just to be the backup center instead of having to move Ty around. Who's been working there? Uh, he mentioned Shane Clennon. Who else maybe is working there at that spot? Yeah, Shane Clennon, he's been he's been the one he's, he's been the one to really okay. hard, hope, hard ooh, excuse me. He's been the one to really hone in on that spot. Shane's been the one that I mean, he goes out there every day and just keeps his head down and works. He's a, he's a great kid that really focuses on and takes pride in his work and what he can do. Austin Nix is the one behind Shane, too, really working to try to uh, find a role in that room, too. And he's done a great job. Yeah, thanks, man. Both of them have. Okay, yeah, thanks, guy. Last one, Tom. I forgot to ask you about the scrimmage coming up Saturday. The fans are going to be there, so... Uh, probably going to be a little bit of buzz about the football team in the stadium on Saturday. What are your thoughts there? Absolutely. I mean, I was, I didn't even know we were doing it until yesterday when coach Pitt told us and I was, I was excited as can be. I mean, it's what the fans, it's what everybody needs right now. I feel like everyone needs a little football in their life and to be able to get the fans out here. I mean, especially with the season ticket renewals. I mean, that was crazy and to give them some sort of reward or something just to come and see us play. I know it's only, I mean, it's only a scrimmage, but like to be able to get them in, like, and, at least see us and just thank them for buying those season tickets and thank them for renewing everything. Like, I think it'll be a heck of a Saturday we'll have. And I hope, I hope as many people as, as, they can, as they can fit will come. Gotcha. Hey, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks, Dalton.